I start having this awakening. Like, I start looking up. I never looked up, Emrek. I never looked up in the sky. I never did because I was too busy partying mm. and talking to girls and just caught up. Like, I was never looking up. And then my, my best friend from middle school split up with me. The last one that split up with me. And I'm like, okay, God, what's going on? Mm-hmm. And then I hear, start hearing all these rumors, how the world was going to end in 2012 at that time. And I was just getting real nervous and scared. And I just started looking up. And I just started questioning God. Mm. And, like, uh, around August, the end of August of, of 2012, I, uh, me and my brother was in the driveway in Novi, Michigan. I was in Novi at that time, in Novi. Right in Michigan, we went outside. We did our smoke in the driveway like we normally do. And um, we we was looking in the back. At first, we heard these, this noise in the tree right outside our house uh, above the basketball room. And we're like, what is that? Ain't no wind. Ain't nothing. We hear something. We don't know what it is. And I, I ain't had no shoes on, so I stepped on the grass. My brother was scared. We smoking, so I stepped on the grass. Like, what is that? Who is you? I start hearing all these noises in the tree. I ain't see no wind. I ain't feel no wind. But I heard something in the tree. And then I, I start hearing these, like, noises, like, like, Tick, like noises you hear in like Hollywood movies of aliens and stuff with the like stuff like that. Mm. So I'm like, what is it? Ain't nobody out here. It's nighttime. What is it? So me and my brother, my brother got scared. I walked up to the tree. I said, what is it? What is you? What is? What's going on? And all of a sudden, you just hear the, the tree swish like this thing hop from across the street to the next tree, back to the tree that was above my basketball hoop. And me and my brother like, okay, what what the hell is going on? So what was it? All of, all of a sudden, our attention go toward the backyard. The backyard is straight from the basketball hoop. And it's, we we looking back toward the backyard now because we see something, like a light or something. Mm. And, this, and Emrek, I'm so glad I get to talk about this because I ain't talked about nobody about this. I've been drinking. I've been dealing with PTSD from this experience. My wife won't listen to me. I'm in my mm. car in the garage. And may I mind you, it's 28 degrees in Michigan right now. I'm drinking because my wife just, like Emrek, I've been dealing with this depression since 2012. I don't know who body to talk to. I've been listening to you for the past couple of nights mm-hmm. and you've been allowing me to sleep easy. Honestly, you've been allowing me to sleep because I've been listening to all your callers mm-hmm. and you, you just talking about everything and shout out to Amina. Like yeah, y'all, been to me, y'all been giving me VT. So I, we see this light and all mm-hmm. of a sudden, like the light disappears from the backyard and they come back around to the front of the house. So we like, what the hell? We just seen this in the backyard. And Emrek, I kid you not, mm-hmm. over Novi, Michigan, in the driveway that night, me and my brother saw a flying saucer hover, hover over us. It was like an orange, amber. i never seen this color ever in my life, so I know it wasn't from Earth, Emrek. Hold on, you for I real? I know it wasn't. It was like a, it was, it was an amber, orange, reddish color, and me and my, my brother was like locked up shoulder to shoulder. All right, hold on, fam. Hold on, hold on. Now... Tell me you got video footage of this. Emrek, we were so froze. I thought this stuff only existed in sci-fi movies. I swear to God, Emrek. We were so froze. My brother locked up shoulder to shoulder against me. We didn't, like, at that time, everybody moved into my mom's house. Nobody, everybody was in my mom's house. Me and my brother go out because we stressed out at nighttime. We smoking in the driveway. No, like, we didn't have our phones or nothing. We just smoking. So when we see this, we lock up. We froze. We never. We thought this only existed in movies, Emrek. Right? Gotcha. And we see this. We see the flying saucer just hover over us, mm. and we like. We we put everything together afterwards, like the tree mm. moving. Emrek, 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 Emrek. Before everybody call me crazy, I'm gonna end it real short, and I just got something to say. No, no, no. Hold on, people. Hey, Spencer Van here, and I wanted to personally reach out and say thank you. are saying you sound scared right now, but continue on. Emrek, I'm scared because you the, y'all the first people I talk to outside of my wife. I've been married to my mm. wife for three years now. She will not believe me. Mm. I, I don't know what's up. I'm drinking Patron right now because I'm just, I can't sleep at night, Emrek. Mm. But anyways, me and my brother mm. lock up. We shoulder to shoulder. He lock up against me. He older than me. So mm. I know he's scared. He lock up. We looking at this thing. It, it just hovered over us, Emrek. Mm. It hovered over us, and it, it went off into the distance. And Emrek, I kid you not, this thing closed out. It closed out, and we watched it go go past over the neighborhood. We were so froze. We were so scared. And wow. Emrek, before, before you got to go real quick, mm-hmm. uh, my name is Jay. 
Uh, and when I went to sleep that night, my mom had left out of town in Vegas that night with my stepdad. I went to sleep in her bed. I, my, I asked my little brother, I'm like, bro, can I please sleep in mom's bed? I feel sick. I don't know what mm. to do. Let me just go to sleep. Emrek, I went to sleep. Uh, and I swear to goodness, like uh -huh. I had this crazy, like vision that we was destroying the world. Like the, whatever that spaceship was, whatever it was, it's, I don't know how it sent me a message, whatever it did, and right, like I went to sleep and they just showed me that we was destroying the world. We wasn't taking care of the place. It wasn't no love nowhere. Mm. And, and they coming back soon, and right, I kid you not, it showed me. Mm. And like I woke up, my brother had never slept because when I woke up, I woke up in sweat, chills, everything. And I came out the room like my little brother was was not near me when I woke up. By, by mm -hmm. the way, and um, I uh, well, I ran out to the living room. My older brother was still up sitting there and like just fell. He couldn't uh, believe what we saw earlier. And I'm no, like, fam, hold, on, hold on, crying. hold on, let me let me stop you because I'm a little lost. Only only reason why because you mentioned your wife and then you mentioned jumping in your mom's bed. So no, I'm right. I'm right. I'm married now. I'm married okay. right now, I'm right. Okay. But I'm married to my wife right now. But at the time in 2012, I'm right. Mm -hmm. I was not married. Okay. It was just Got it you. was just me. I was a young guy. I'm 29 Got right Got now. You. Okay. I'm 29 Got right now, I'm right. In 2012, uh -huh. I was only like 23, 22, whatever. Mm -hmm. And and I ain't had no wife or nothing. I just had my brother. My mom went there a lot, and everybody was standing in my mom's crib. Mm -hmm. And I'm right. When I woke up from that vision. My brother was still up in the living room looking crazy when I ran out the bedroom. Because mm. I ran to him like, bro, I just had this crazy vision from whatever we saw. And it showed me that we was destroying the earth. We wasn't taking care of it and all of that. Mm. And like, Emrek, I'm telling you, Emrek, mm -hmm. whatever it has been here that the government is just now releasing these videos of these ships and stuff. Emrek, mm -hmm. I kid you not, I truly believe that they're in every neighborhood. In every city, we can't see these things. I don't know what they is, but they know we not taking care of this place, Emrek. And I hear all the time about humanitarianism on your channel. And I think, like Emrek, I'm not trying to get crazy, but Emrek, I feel like humanitarianism is equivalent to love. Mm. And I have been hearing everybody talk up lately about love, humanitarianism on your channel. And I'm like, 